Thank you, Sujit Ji. Uh, my name is Gopi Rokkaki, as you have already told me. Uh, first of all, I would like to wish you a very happy new year. May you all be blessed with good health, happiness, prosperity, and more than anything else, tranquility in life. I really you know, want to appreciate the very good work done by the friends of Nepal, especially under the leadership of the, you know, people like you, sir. And, you know, that was the kind of work that I think uh, if uh, somehow, you know, uh, participation, involvement, whatever capacity has that, uh, that would be a great uh, contribution uh, from <coughs> living here in the United States uh, from our community members. Uh, professionally, I uh, I am a university teacher. I I was uh, uh, a professor at uh, Taiwan University. I taught here almost three decades, thirty years, and I came here in two, uh, 2006. And ever since, uh, well, I I recently retired from the job actually, <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of you know uh, living a retired life right now. And uh, before uh, that, let me just uh, share with you a few things about my, this new uh, book. Uh, actually, I started writing the chapter in this book, uh, manuscript, almost about two decades ago. But I could not complete that due to the everyday mundane, you know, kind of the assignment, what, you know, that we have to do because of the job and all that kind of thing. I pause and kept, you know, postponing and, you know, I do it sometimes, you know, whenever I have more time, this and that. You know, it never happened. And for the last five years, I really, you know, just, you know started working on that. And, you know, looking uh, back at 2023, uh, it was very challenging for me. And at the same time, very satisfying also, because I was able to give a finishing touch to this book. And this is about almost about 430 page, you know, length book. And this is about a very big to topic, you know, uh, the global environmental crisis, climate change, and the and the sustainable development and the issues of the sustainable living on the planet Earth. It's a very big topic, and the title of the book is Eco Sociocentrism. The Art First Paradigm for Sustainable Living. It sounds somewhat bombastic and also idiosyncratic in some ways, <laughs> of course. And I cannot help that. And, but uh, the thing is that, you know, this book that I have written is basically written from a global perspective for the global audience. Even then, I has a chapter where I have actually included Nepal's problem also, especially how Nepal is suffering from the climate change. You see, the mountains uh, in the snows are melting, you know, uh, glaciers, you know, are kind of receding. That kind of the problem in Nepal is facing uh, because not of Nepal's own doing, actually. Nepal has become the victim of the, you know, this, uh, all this pollution uh, global, you know, environmental uh, destruction, whatever. Uh, because of that, Nepal is suffering. And Nepal has a right to claim for, you know, the compensation. And that issue I have raised in that book also. There is a special chapter on the, under the climate change and its impact, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, we have to understand one thing very critically. We are living in the age of the Anthropocene. This is called the Anthropocene age, you know. The men with the, you know, technology, science and technology have become such a powerful, you know, that it has taken everything from, almost everything from the nature. It has extracted all the goods of, you know, materials from the nature in a very sustainable, unsustainable way. The extraction has, has become so unsustainable, and the whole, uh, what you call, consumption culture, consumerism, ecologically hostile consumerism, that is growing all over the world. Look at the fossil fuels company. You know, if you look at the fossil fuel company, for the last 50 years, 
all the fossil fuel companies to combine them. They were making $3 billion every day. So over the last 50 years, you know, if you, if you calculate that, it's a very simple, you know, math statistics, you see. So every day, that means $50 trillion, you know, it's state power, right? $50 trillion they have made out of it. And you still, you know, how much uh, subsidy they get? Interesting, this is not quite, like, this is the data produced by the IMF, International Monetary Fund, you know, IMF and World Bank. The almost about uh, six or seven percent of the global GDP, that means now uh, at uh, 20, uh, 21, 2021, you know, I think global GDP was 80, uh, 80, 87, 89 billion, uh, 89, you know, trillion. And if you look at the six or seven percent of that, that makes almost about seven trillion. The fossil fuels companies are getting hidden and the direct and indirect, you know, subsidy almost about seven trillion dollars. That doesn't come to this, uh, you know, surface. And people don't really keep on like saying, no, that. These are the facts. So, you know, uh, there is a, yeah, I'm, I'm finished. Uh, there is a website blog, you know, that is www.paradigm6.info, where I have already, you know, introduced my book with the book uh, overview and the, all the chapter titles. Uh, and, and, and some other, you know, related information. So if you, you know, next, wish next to go over there, I think that will be very helpful. Thank you very much for the